you you'll be one of the happiest persons you know it, it's very sweet to experience what love is mm -hmm. and to share that love with someone somebody else yes hello and welcome to the channel today we have a guest he is a regular here on the channel and today we have some questions for him we will be putting him in the hot seat and you see the topic below it's a hot topic so do stick around to the end today we'll be talking about relationships and we're gonna give you some relationship advice he rather will be giving us some relationship advice so if you're watching and you're single and is searching stick around if you're married also stick around if you have someone courting also stick around because we have some I would say advice for you and oh uh, yeah <laughs> so the first question is um, introduce yourself again for us well my name is Irinsky Crooks a very good friend of Ruth Thompson um, I met Ruth in high school and from then we've had this very good friendship going on so um, that's it basically it for me okay but well, as I told him to introduce himself he did a little bit more than introduce himself <laughs> so let me ask you are you in a relationship um, yeah, yes I am in a relationship okay so he's qualified to give us some advice so tell me Give me some of the key things that you should implement in your relationship to make it last. Well, number one, you have to have God in your relationship. Might sound a bit cliche to the average human, but God is very important. And I'll tell you why. Now, in the book of Exodus, God gave ten commandments. Now, Exodus 20. The first four spoke about love for God and the last six spoke about love for your fellow men. Now, in trying to garner a better understanding of who God is, when you read the scripture, it shows it plainly in different areas of the Bible. Now, you realize that a part of loving God is showing obedience. Now, being obedient to God means that you will do everything to honor Him. The Bible says that we are supposed to honor our father and mother so that our lives may be long upon the earth. Now, we honor our fathers in the sense that we, when we go out, we represent them in a way that will make them proud. Our Father in heaven, God, we are also to honor Him. And a part of honoring our Father is to show how much we love Him by being obedient. Now, when we place God in um, our relationship now, we are obedient to the commands, one of which says you are not supposed to commit adultery, you're not supposed to steal, all those stuff. And once you get that love for God, it is transitioned into the relationship where you will now honor your partner in a sense that you will represent them in a, a way that will make them happy, right? Now, loving God and loving your partner, there's no comparison, right? We were born rebels, so it will be very difficult for us to show love, but we show love in different ways. When we have God, in our lives and he shows us how we love how we should love we now take that love and we show that love to our partner and it's by showing the love to our part partner where we develop characteristics like honesty faithfulness trustworthiness and all those attributes that adds value to the relationship a second part to us uh, building a stronger relationship would be communication. Mm -hmm. Now God, I'm going to go back on the point on God. 
true daily sacrifice or you live in daily for Christ a part of the communication method used is through prayer and prayer is you communicating to God your needs your wants your concerns and you just use that same principle and you communicate it to your partner so communication would be the second point right okay. so God communication, communication yes. and the third point would be respect respect yes you have to show respect no matter how bad the person or angry the person makes you feel your partner mm -hmm. you show respect because respect is due mm -hmm. so with effective communication the love for God and showing respect mm -hmm. to your partner those are three important criteria that enable a relationship to last mm -hmm. and it is compounded not really compounded it is enhanced the relationship is enhanced once both partners work on developing these criteria and implement those criteria in the relationship okay well said i must say well said i wasn't expecting <laughs> such deep thoughts on the topic but he really covered a lot but i have another question for you and still keeping with the tips you would say for those who are interested in relationships so i have another question to ask our guest you know he's he seemed to be very knowledgeable on the topic but i want to just be a little provocative here we have real life situations where you know in relationships you have to basically be with someone who is very different now take for example someone hurts you like someone hurts you really really bad and how do you move on from that in a relationship well it all boils down to the christian life and as i made mention god you have to first love god and god shows us through his words how to love and how to forgive and god is the only one who can forgive mm -hmm. yes yeah, so once you have that knowledge of who God is mm -hmm. and you transition that understanding into your relationship it may be hard at first to, to forgive, forgive that individual but in time you will understand what love really is and that love allows you to forgive you know we, we see in the Bible where God gave his only son mm -hmm. to die for our sins that shows the ultimate sacrifice of what love really is and love is something we give sacrifice for you know mm -hmm. so forgiveness forgiveness is not easy at first but over time it becomes easy well said point there and i deliberately brought this topic forward because i wanted to mention forgiveness because in relationships a lot of hurt happen you have take for example persons being unfaithful you where they say you cheat right mm -hmm. then you may have persons being disrespectful saying hurtful words and healing from those can be very hard and we have we've been having a lot of separation divorce rates have been increasing over the years and we're seeing where the separation rate also increasing where persons are remarrying or getting a different partner because of certain things simple things like disrespecting your partner or cheating on your partner or telling lies things like those mm -hmm. and Yurinsky brought up a very important point he, he keeps stressing God Without the inclusion of God in the relationship, there is no forgiveness. Because in the world, if you hurt me, I will hurt you back. Mm -hmm. And when you hurt me and I hurt you back, that causes separation. But when we have God in the relationship, we see where he spoke about God teaches us how to forgive each other. And no matter what your partner would have done to you, if you abide in God and God is within you, no matter what your partner do, you will forgive them mm -hmm. and move forward. And that is the sort of chemistry, that is the sort of lifestyle God wants us to live. And there are many passages in the Bible, many examples in the Bible where 
God basically told us that in being together, we have to go through problems and how we go through our problems and our difficulties is including him at the center. Yes. Right? As you ably mentioned earlier. Yes. So in closing, we just want our guest to give us his final words. You know, he have given us some great tips. So do tell us, what would you like to say to our viewers? I know some of you may be, I say, single and searching. <laughs> or you might be married and having a little bit of hiccups along the way. Or you might be well, separated, you know. What well, would you like to say now? Yeah. I like to tell each and every one that relationship is just like any other test. If you fail at it once, it doesn't mean you should give up. Mm -hmm. um, it's something you have to dedicate yourself towards. And it is attainable. It might not come easy at first, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean it won't come. Mm -hmm. And it requires both parties. Both parties have to want the relationship to work for it to work. And it's through the effective communication now. You get to know the person, know what their likes and dislikes are. You see how they behave in certain situations. You know how to um, respond if they're angry. All of these things are things we try and um, learn from the person or learn about the person so that we can know how best to deal with situations when they arise. Right? So the few words is Dear soulmate is out there, you just should not give up because that person has not met you as yet or you haven't met that person as yet. You know, it's something patience teaches you. You wait on God's timing mm -hmm. and soon and very soon you, you'll be one of the happiest persons, you know. It, it's very sweet to experience what love is mm -hmm. and to share that love with someone somebody else yes well said i must say well said and i'll call this video some random relationship advice from christians yes <laughs> the advice is from a christian point of view christian perspective and as this channel is to introduce you to god and to strengthen your faith in him we couldn't have told you without introducing you to the one who is the glue in our relationships, God. Amen. So without God, it, it's really difficult. And um, we have come to the end of the video. <laughs> we've stated our point and we, we're happy to have our guest. And we hope you'll continue to join us as often as, you know. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> yes, we were happy to have you. And um, I hope you got some advice. I did get some. <laughs> So thank you all for watching and we'll meet you again very soon. Alright, bye. bye.